Hello everyone, I'm Vera Wack, and today in Rogue Tower, we're gonna try a new achievement slash challenge. So as we all know, for encampments, we've done one path, yes, but what about second path? So that's what I'll try, encampment, two path. I think it should be fine because encampments are really strong. So I'm also gonna do ballistas because we do need ballistas at the beginning, I feel. The reason I have ballistas at the beginning is, um, well, it's probably gonna take me a while to get the encampment card to even show up. So I'd be dead right now if I didn't have ballistas. So the ballistas are just there for getting gold and waiting until we have encampments, basically. Change priorities. Oh, also, I got the mod. I got the speed mod. So we're actually doing this at twice the speed. If you're interested in getting the speed mod, it's in their Discord. Uh, it's not any official modding. Okay, so we have max banditry. That's good. Uh, we'll take a bit of damage. That's fine. Everything's fine. I still don't have encampments. Did I even? I think I have the card for encampment. I must have. If not, that's going to be embarrassing. Sometimes I forget what cards I have, which ones I don't. Yeah, we still don't have it. Well, crit chance, I guess. It better show up. I mean, I don't have all the cards unlocked, as you could tell with me not having all the houses near my starting tower, but... It's taken a while. Oh, there we go. Finally. Now we can start building our mines. I just need more gold. And there we go. So, the good thing about this is that both paths are nearby. So I can sort of double the encampments if I want to. Uh, more range. Yes, please. Look at that range. I do wish we could see the range atop the bubbles that say the health or the damage and stuff, just because it's hard to see sometimes if it covers a path or not. There we go. Put it in this corner. Uh, we will get ballistas here. We're going to try to focus mostly on encampments. All right, right there. This is I think this is a perfect place. It covers everything. I am somewhat of an expert in encampments by now. I did win one. Uh, so we'll basically focus on encampment buffs. And if there's none, then we'll go for uh, ballista buffs, I guess. Since we don't need mana or anything. So I'm placing these ballistas basically just around the houses now. To increase our, our income, basically. Except for this one. We're targeting them. Just for now. Until we can have like our entire lanes covered. Covered in mines. Um, damage to health is probably going to be good because we have to plan for... For Oogie. Yeah. I feel like that's usually the hardest... Not, maybe not the hardest part, but one of the harder parts is knowing if we'll have enough damage to bring down Oogie. Because I know with Tesla Towers, now since they were nerfed, it's a lot harder. Or Tesla Coils, whatever they're called. Let's see, where do we put it? Back here. 
There we go. It'll give us a little bit more time to plant mines. I don't think Ogi's gonna survive. Okay, let's see what happens. I think, I think we'll be okay. It's gonna be scary though, but it'll be okay. We're gonna focus on Ogi. There we go. Um, oh yeah, all these mines, we're, we're for sure fine. I'm not worried at all. Well, it's not taking as much damage as I would hope. Oh no, it's fine. Oh yeah. See? Uh, health for ballistas. Ooh, let's get towards Creeping Cough. I hate it when there's only one choice in the chest. It feels... It feels like just an utter disappointment. Alright, more ballistas for more money. I think soon we're... Oh gosh. Oh no. Uh... Oh no. Oh god, no. <laughs> uh... All part of the plan. Right. Okay, so I need to do something about shield. <laughs> this is... It always happens this way. One day I'll learn. We have bleed. I need, I need to focus those shields down. It's a lot of enemies here. Oh, I don't like it. I've got three tower health. I think this is fine, actually. This that row, that path. Yeah, we've only got one shield person, so that's good. If we had more, we'd be dead. Alright, 900 gold encampment. Where do I put this? Could put it up there. No. Back here. It gives me more- it gives the encampment more time to spawn uh, mines. I think that's fine. Uh, ooh, more damage to shield. That's actually pretty good. I don't know where I want to put this. It's covering both. Oh, I'll be fine. So I'm going to ex extend the, um, I guess, the southwest path, mostly, to try to find some splits. So this path gets weaker and weaker. That'll work. Uh, yes. There's a hidden mine right there. Alright, so this is actually more important than... Uh, more pressing, rather, than I would like. I don't like any of these, but we'll get more poison. I feel like the poison damage doesn't really matter for encampments because but when they start taking explosion, like when they start taking damage, they're going to die soon because they're going to run into all the other explosives. Okay. This is this is okay. This expansion was risky, but we made it. Oh, yeah. I keep forgetting to change these. It's important to make sure they're all up to date so like that you can level up the stats that you want. I feel for this one, I, was, I usually want shield to do more damage. Uh, plus two range. That's actually really good. All right, I think I think I should be done expanding that way. It's getting too close, too scary. I have a bad habit of not spending my gold. Because I'm like, well, I'm gonna expand 
you know, next turn, and I don't know what's gonna happen. So I want to save money for that, but let's use it now. I mean, we only have two paths, so technically, for for encampment, I should always be building them near my tower anyways, so... Ooh, creeping cough. I don't think I have any poison, though. But soon, soon we will. Oh, the freaking the fast ones just destroy all my mines. All right, that's not that's not scary at all. We've got only shield dudes left. That's okay. Plenty of mines in the way. Uh, ooh, poison damage. There we go. Now they're slowed. So this is going to help us with the bosses because they're going to get slowed. Which means the mines will have, the encampments will have more time to spawn mines. Do I want it there? No. Let's go on the plus one. I do think I'll have another plus one range. I think this that's better. Yeah, I don't think that's a good idea. Putting them so close up top. But the way I'm thinking is that when they're leveled up, they'll get rid of the runners. This will prevent the other mines from getting all destroyed. Oh yeah, this is uh this is going pretty well, I would say. A lot of it is because the two paths are running along each other. Well, let's do poison damage for more slow. That's covering. Not enough. We don't need. That's fine. We get more mines. This is. The encampments are very satisfying. Oh yeah. Right here to focus on this path. Oh, what is there? Uh, bleed damage. Perfect. I'm playing with fire here. I don't like it. Sometimes I see there's like, sometimes I look at a mob and it's not taking any damage. I'm like, no, focus that one. Like the, there we go, the um, the Trojan horse with a lot of armor, sometimes it doesn't get hit. Uh, bleed damage, burn damage, plus two range. But I do need more shields. Ah, oh, damn it! I, I should not have expanded there. Ah, oh, I knew it. I think that covers. It's hard to see the path. Eh, it covers it a bit, but not enough. There we go. This covers the path. More mines. Oh, there's a uh, zombie oogie. I forgot it was wave 25. I tend to forget that sometimes. I think we'll be okay. Because it'll spawn his mangoes, and then they're gonna run through and destroy some, but not all of them. Oh yeah, that's easy. Oh, range, yes. And... 
I guess crit and burn damage and damage to do I want university? Yeah, we'll get universities. Okay, so that's that's making the other path slightly weaker. That's good. So we all have priorities here on the mines or the encampments. That's good. Well, I think it's time to level. Just to do more shield damage and health damage. There we go, more shield. That means I'm not destroying these ones. I've invested gold in them. They're not going away. Uh, more range again, yes. Uh, keep expanding. Maybe we c Ooh, maybe we could expand so our ballistas shoot that path. It's going pretty well so far. So level 30 is going to be the, the tough one, as usual. The mines are- the graphics of the mines is actually very satisfying too. Just the graphics, the art style of this game is amazing. I love it. The only time that it's a bit iffy, sometimes it's hard to tell the elevation in certain times of day. Uh, more range, yep. Yeah. Our ballistas can shoot far. So now that the paths are getting further and further away, this front encampment is going to do good to sort of get rid of the, the front, the strong, or sorry, the fast ones. That's the plan at least. Oh god, they're getting a little too close for comfort. Uh, considering I have 10,000 gold, maybe I should spend it. See, this is why, this is what I'm saying, I'm not spending my gold, I just like wait and see how things are and evaluate and then I'm like, oh, it might be too late. All right, um, armor damage could be good though for encampments. Okay, we'll spend our gold this time. There we go, here covering a lot. That's a massive coverage. I really like that the enemies will not blow up all the mines. They basically blow one up. If they still survive, they blow the other one up, like on that same square. Um, so it's not all of them are gone, because that would that would change the uh, the strength of the encampments a lot. All right, so where's it gonna spawn? The other thing I want to do with encampments is sort of have all the lanes show up at the same time. Since it is an explosion, I don't want the enemies to be staggered too much. So that whenever they, they just join up and then they're they're stacked together. Makes the mines way better. Like, if you're doing ballistas only, you don't want them grouped up because you don't have AoE. Well, we could have slow, that's good actually. Slow down the enemies even more. Alright, so now they're at the same distance. I'll see how this goes. This is going well, and again, I have too much gold. I'm also saving up for universities. I don't, I didn't remember, I didn't check if there was universities. Well, let's just fix priorities and then we'll check. Look at this, look at this. We've got like two paths completely filled with mines. Mm-hmm, we'll do more armor. 
All right, well, there is no universe. Oh, there's a university. I'll come back to it very shortly. Just want to upgrade this because we have way too much gold. All right, more shield damage, more health damage. Way more shield damage needed. Basically, I don't want the shield guys to just go through all the mines because we're not doing enough shield damage. All right, university time. So I'll try a different tactic for universities. Um, we'll get more shield damage, yes. I'll, tr I'll see if this works. I'm trying it out. I'm not sure what the best thing is, but I feel like this is just spending a lot of gold for nothing. Which is fine, because I have a lot of gold. Yeah, I regret this already. <laughs> Alright, so we'll go here. It'd be interesting if some towers, or all towers, there is like, once you get all the cards, you can unlock an extra card that increases the rate of fire, or something like that. Maybe not necessarily all the cards, but maybe there's like a really difficult way of getting to that card. Actually no, because they're also going to specify a specific build and everyone's gonna, a lot of people are going to go for that. I do like the fact that you have different builds at the end. You can go for crit, you can go for a lot of bleed per second, you can go for, like, crits increase the deal 10% of the bleeding, burning, or poison. Um, you can go for universities, you could go for mana bolts, if you do have mana bolts. It's, it's pretty neat how there's a variety of different things you can do, depending on which towers you use. So our, our ballistas can shoot, which is pretty neat, across the gap. I feel like this is a lot of enemy. You know what? I just realized it's wave 34. We've already passed wave 30 and 32 without me realizing it or being too worried. Now I'm a little worried, but... That's fine. Oh, this one needs upgrade. Okay. So I'm gonna try to bring them all sort of level 20 plus. Ooh. Poison damage or crit chance? I don't have poison damage. Crit chance would have been nice though, but I do want poison damage to slow everything down. This is such a waste of gold. I'm already invested though, so we're gonna keep going that way and see see how much we get at the end. University discoveries? I don't know what they're called. Research discoveries? I'm not sure. It's a good thing that the Oogies and their goons, they can't communicate back. They don't have like walkie-talkies or cell phones or anything saying, oh my god, don't go down this path, there's so many mines. Unless Oogie Overlord, Big Brain Oogie, is like, we'll send more and then eventually we'll whittle down their minds. I don't know. I like to think that the Oogies are the good guys and we're the bad guys. I don't know why. I feel like all they want are mangoes. And we're not sharing with them. Maybe it's just because I'm used to always being the baddie that I just automatically assume I am. University research, yes please. Ooh, crit chance! Nice. Uh, more poison damage for more slow? Oh. 
I think it's really nice seeing the uh, all the ballistas shoot. Look at this range. <gasps> yeah, it's not staying there, but that's an amazing intense range. You're just f walking by, and then all of a sudden you see a mine getting thrown overhead. Oh. Oh, that does not sound great. I mean, they're getting a little further. I'm not huge on that. I think it'll be fine. And then we'll expand these two areas in the middle, get two gates. Uh, max haste. I do want Big Brain Oogie to come from up top there. Well, 10,000 gold again. So we can level... Level 12. Let's increase to level 20-something. We'll basically have the health multipliers all around 20, 20 23. Sometimes I can't find my mouse in all this either. Oh boy. That went a little too far for me. So I don't know if the mines that have already been laid, do they get the damage increase or no? I assume no. Uh, poison enemies take an extra shield, or... yeah. So the reason I need that, like, I'm not a huge fan of it, especially with, like, encampments. I feel like it's not that much damage being added. Um, but you need it to get the crit steal 10% extra poison uh, of the total poison damage or whatever. Ooh, level 2. This is bad. Level one. Oh, nothing's reached there, it seems. Okay, I think they're all... all leveled up. Okay. Now I'm feeling confident, but not overconfident. I wish that university was never there. All towers gain more damage. Actually, no, I want to get the bleed. Hopefully we could get the crit to deal more bleed damage. Look at that. Ballistas are... Blisters are so nice. So we're actually going through to try to get all the achievements. Slowly but surely, we'll get there. That's a bit too far from my liking, especially because next level is level 40. I don't like this. I thought I leveled all of them up, I guess not. Huh, weird. Um, do we want to make them suffer? No, more shield damage. Because by increasing the shield damage, you're actually increasing the poison damage applied. Oh, there we go. This one needs upgrade. Hold on a sec. Up oh, I mean, that makes sense. We're at the gates. I really like the range of the ballistas. The long, long range. So now, this is level 40. This is a point where possibly things are going to go terribly wrong. So far so good, but we have the, the flying portals. So we need to increase this a little bit. Um, this 
is okay. Yeah, I think this is actually pretty good. Pretty nice. So we have a few of them at, at like 27 health damage, shield damage, armor damage. We've got, we've got what, three of them? One in the middle, one on one path, one on the other path. I will take the trail of blood. Look at this. So nice. We're also focusing down the the portals that spawn near the two gates with our ballistas, so that's actually very nice. It's slowing them down so they don't show up with everything else. That's a lot of enemies in one path, that top path. I really like encampments, but they're very scary. Because I'm like, oh no, there's so many of them, they're gonna get overwhelmed, but turns out they don't. Oh boy. It'll be fine. Oh gosh. Oh no. Okay. Okay. Uh, maybe it's time we put more... more explosions. Uh, we need to reinf... uh, reinforce up there. All towers gain crit chance. Actually, no, we have attacks against bleeding enemies. They're always bleeding, so... Basically, they all have crit chance as well. Oh gosh. Okay, level 42, moment of truth, I think. It's either I lose to level 40, level 42, or level 44. If my my damage isn't enough for single target, then Big Brain Ogi just gets too close, and whenever he switches from shield to armor, armor to health, he releases like a wave of enemies, so you can't wait till that's too close to your your tower. Is this going is this going okay? I mean it seems to be doing well. Wasn't this how it looked like last time though? Yeah. I don't like this. It went better. We'll have a backup here because clearly it looks like we might need it. Alright, so this one's going pretty well. You, so this path is fine. It's the other path for the closest one that's scarier. See, I think we're gonna go for more shield damage. All right, this is this is this this should be fine until wave forty four. But then I think the encampments have a really good single target damage, so Big Brain Oogie probably won't stand a chance, especially because we're gonna be slowing him down throughout. And by throughout, I mean at the beginning. They're so slow. You know what? I think I think this is gonna be good. I'm gonna call this a win. We might as well not even continue, right? We already know we're gonna win this. No problemo. Yeah, we're doing better this. We're betting, doing better on level 43 than 42, which we're doing better than on 40. So yeah, I'm not worried. I'm 
Nope, not worried at all. Uh, oh, crit chance is good. Now I need a portal opening up there. Okay. Wait, no, I don't die on level 44. I'll die on level 45. I forgot. It's pointless. I hate this. I spent so much gold on that. My life saving. Was it worth it? No. What did it cost? My life saving. This is going well. Just gonna level a little bit more. We do have. We have a decent amount of gold to spend. And I don't think I want to build any more encampments, so we'll just level them up. But they're getting pretty pricey to level up. Oh yeah, this is fine. This is gonna be scary though with Big Brain Ogi. Hopefully he'll be way at the back. Um, let's just get crit. So it's actually pretty good. They've got like a buttload of crit because we have crit per level and we've got level 45, 50, 70 million. Sit down, big brain Ogie. I feel like he's gonna, big brain Ogie is gonna get all his shield back by the time he gets here. Oh well. Worst comes to worst, we can uh, demolish some of the encampments if needed to boost up the ones we have. Yeah, that path is almost done. And then Big Brain is coming. Oh boy. He's gonna start getting slowed though. And targeted. So he might actually lose most, if not all, his shield by the time he gets to the mine. I don't need these, they're pointless. This one as well, and then that one. No, that one will keep. This one is pointless. Pointless. Again. Also pointless. Alright. Okay. Big brain Ogie. Shield. Done. I just realized I just demolished all these things and didn't spend the gold. Uh oh. Oh, death. Oh my god. <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, <laughs> okay. I thought. Yeah. <laughs> okay, that was something. Yeah, university's pointless. I should have just demolished them. Demolish them after the fact because I hate them. It's a terrible waste of, uh, of gold. This was a nice, nice little map. It really helped that the paths were, they ran alongside each other. That makes it a lot better. So like that, the towers can, uh, be used for two different things. Um, yeah, so we've got click, click, boom. The achievement to beat double defense using only encampments and ballistas. Awesome. The damage done, I mean, obviously the encampment did way more damage. Um, house protection is low because, well, we didn't really have much. So there we have it. That was uh, two path, encampment, and ballistas. And just thanks for watching, everyone. Hope you enjoyed it. We'll do another achievement next. I don't know which one. We'll see whatever tickles my fancy. <laughs>